Hello, Driving Intelligence followers. Today, I want to talk to you about a 2006 Hyundai Santa Fe. It has a 2.7 liter V6 engine. And uh, this car came to me uh, for diagnosis from Brenda, who is following the Driving Intelligence Facebook page. She indicated that she's had continuing problems with this vehicle recently that involve uh, starting difficulty and also recently uh, stalling, stalling in traffic. Obviously, this is a safety issue. Uh, Brenda had originally taken this vehicle to her mechanic, and her mechanic had told her that this is likely the PCV valve. Now, my first reaction to that is confusion. I've never heard of a PCV causing starting problems nor stalling in traffic unless there's a significant vacuum leak associated with that. After asking Brenda several questions, um, I asked uh, her if she had had any codes pulled on the vehicle, and she said no. So Brenda and I agreed that we would meet, and uh, I would actually perform a diagnostic test on her vehicle. As you can see by the diagnostic test here, the, uh, the general conditions for the vehicle, I was looking at fuel trim values, indicate that the car is running rich, and, uh, but it's not severely rich. With a car that has 250,000 miles on it, um, these numbers aren't alarming. But when I pulled the codes, uh, the codes indicated to me that there were fuel trim issues that I just mentioned, but also a problem with the, uh, the EVAP system. Um, generally, one code can lead to other codes, and if you find the problem, it will clear um, all of your code issues. In this case, um, I wanted to start with what was pro probably the most problematic issue causing everything, and that was the EVAP uh, the EVAP situation. The reason I picked the evaporative control system was that problems with this system, since it's connected to the vacuum of the engine, could cause fuel trim issues or vacuum issues that would result in either uh, rich or lean conditions of the vehicle. So I wanted to uh, to pretty much check the evaporative control system to see if it was functioning properly. Now, one of the best friends out there is the internet, and I did some research, and it turns out that um, that the evaporative control solenoid, or the valve, is one of the biggest problems being experienced with these uh, Santa Fe's in causing starting problems and stalling. So, from that point, we decided to locate the, uh, the evaporative control valve and see if we could uh, find any obvious uh, conditions that would indicate a failure in this system. The purge valve for the evaporative system on this car is located behind the engine against the firewall in a relatively easy place to get to. But before I decided to start replacing parts, I wanted to see if there was a vacuum leak and I pulled my smoke tester and performed the smoke test on the vehicle. This indicated to me that there were no vacuum leaks and the next step was to move to the solenoid control valve. After the new purge valve was installed, the vehicle was reassembled, and before putting on the engine cover, it was the engine was test run, and I pulled codes once again. And the final test indicated all codes had been cleared with the replacement of this purge valve. 